Thank you for, for coming. I'm Alexandre Vieira and <coughs> Luca Mucavelli. It's a great pleasure to be with him now at this time, uh, performing and learning from his music, all those musical instruments that, well, he'll explain better than me. Well, and I'm researching about the connection of instrument and voice, and using the voice as an uh, oral uh, device for communicating through sounds, but not with lyrics. So creating music, producing, and also composing, improvising, and using the voice for many, for many, uh, many types of interactions between instruments. So that's how we connect through music. Uh, we are always trying to use the voice and I'm learning from his musical research about the voice connection that 
he uses with his instruments also and the sonorities, the textures, and well, that's it. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. I must also thank Ute Fendler. She's the one who, she's the ideologist of this encounter. Um, yeah, uh, she realized, she understood, she thought, she believed that our encounter would be something interesting and, and I find it to be very interesting. You are a visionary woman, Ute. <laughs> yeah. And I really hope uh, our experience together, it's a very good experience. For me, it's really very, very accomplishing to work with Alexandre. And I hope we can really carry on. We don't just end up with this, with this uh, concert, with this event that we're doing and encounters. Um, yeah, I've been for many years researching on uh, Mozambican and I would say in general African uh, traditional musical instruments as far as construction and performance is concerned. Uh, in, in, in that regard, for example, my PhD thesis, which I completed here in Germany, I started long times ago, about over a decade in Mozambique, but I never finished because, because of many, many issues, and I, I, I had a chance to finish it here in Germany. Uh, was based on two instruments, actually initially three, but then I reduced to two, shizambi and mbira. Shizambi and mbira, these are the two instruments that I wrote my PhD dissertation on. And uh, the idea is really to bring, to bring out the science, to bring to the awareness that these instruments have got their own identity, have got their own language, uh, and they've got their own values, and they've a lot to contribute. Above all, they've a lot to contribute to musical sciences, not only in Africa, but globally. And uh, um, yeah, we are not yet fully aware in a global level that uh, there is a lot to be discovered, to be learned from lots of other in musical instruments. Musicology continues to be heavily Western-oriented, like in our own countries, in my country. If I say in our own, it's not only in my country, I've experienced it in many countries. When, when you talk of musicology, when you talk of music teaching, it's all about Western music. And so uh, I think I have an opportunity here to do some cultural diplomacy, bringing African music uh, in a contemporary perspective, which was my thesis, African musical instruments in a global co contemporary perspective um, to, to the world not just to, to Europe. So thanks a lot. Uh, and since it's not a lecture here, it's a concert, <laughs> we, <laughs> we have to continue with the music. What, what do you think we take next? How would you, what would you like to? Wow. Wow, let me see. Some with Mbira? Or? With Mbira, okay. Yeah, you know, we met a few days ago and we have been sort of working intensively to put a program together. So that is the Mbira here. <coughs> an instrument whose history is said to, or from its history it's said to exist for over 3,000 years in, in, in the African continent.
There is a song that I've made for my older daughter, who's here, Lua. And this song, ha this is the first time I will perform the song. And I wrote the song together with a, a friend. And the reason I, I will play the song to tonight is, is a song wrote in Shangani, which is a language from Maputo. Uh, and I had <laughs> Lucas support to, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to to get to sing it right correctly. So this song, uh, the name is Nweti, and I wrote with Elisio Maputo. Oh, Elisio Macamo, yeah. from Maputo. <laughs> But yes, we'll try to do it now. Wait, 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 wait,
actually so what is the moon so the song is really very a, a very nice so it says the the moon is shining up there in this in the sky and the, it's shining also in the hearts of uh, of everyone of, of, of the family uh, and, uh, yeah so waity waity <laughs> okay yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, we we'll carry on and uh, vocal, and vocal, vocal. Oh, okay. Vocal. Yeah. Let's let's get vocal to work a bit here. Yeah. Otherwise, it gets too bold. You know. <laughs>
months for me to present the instruments. Huh? Uh, I started with the Shizambi, I already presented, and the Mbira I presented. But now this one, who is that one? <laughs> who is that one? Okay, that's Shigovia in my mother tongue. It's Shigovia. Shigovia is made from a hard, uh, uh, hard shell fruit. It's called in my, in my, in my language, it's called the sala, and in plural, masala. Uh, so you hold <coughs> the fruit, and you have a flute. It's very easy, from fruit to flute. <laughs> ah. <laughs> it's interesting. So, uh, yeah, you hollow it and then you make the different other holes to control your sounds, you know, the, the pitches. So, yeah, it's normally played. Actually, the song I played is a song that is played by cattle boys. You know, the boys, when they take the cattle in the morning to go grazing. The first one who goes, who opens his kraal for the, for the cows to go, starts playing. signaling the others that, oh, I'm already moving. And then the others respond. So they play, they, each one has got their own shikovi in a different tone. And when they respond, a polyphony is created. You know, call and response and, and, and all of that dialogue. Uh, I can't do it with one instrument alone. Sometimes I use technologies when I'm here in Europe using loop stations, but it was too much to prepare for this short time. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so uh, this is Mvoko. Mvoko is also a unique instrument of its kind, uh, which I built uh, some years ago um, in an attempt to improve a traditional instrument called the Shimvoko Mvoko. Similar principle, but with only one string and smaller, half the size, with a calabash resonator that size or double the size of this. And but when I wanted to make my music, then it came to a point where it was limited, so I decided to add the strings and, the, and all of that. Uh, that's, how, that's how it came to existence. Um, maybe... Shitende. Shitende. We are going to play another instrument here. The Brazilians might know a close relative of the Shitende. The Pirimau is a close relative of the Shitende. Yes. Uh, you see, this is a Shitende from Mozambique. But again, this, this is not really the traditional version because that's the traditional version of the Shitende. So, um, yeah, in order to really use it, in, as said in my PhD thesis, in a contemporary global perspective, I had to put lots of uh, add-ons, modifications. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, uh, actually, I, I'm concerned about our time, eh? you know? Hello. Can you um, update us on our time? How much more time we can still use here? Because you know, if you don't push a break, we can play till morning here. Yeah. And some people can start to get possessed, you know? <laughs> this is the essence of this news. Shitende, I would also play standing and really moving or jogging, uh, walking or jogging. That's how in the tradition it's played. People play it when they go long distances and they play it in different all occasions. Okay.
Uh, thank you so much for being here. Uh, actually, all this energy, energy that you seem to see in us, it's coming from you. We just reflected and fed it back to you. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, would, uh, thank you. Thank you, the technical staff, the Lord. You did a wonderful job for us tonight. Wow. So thank you again. I think it was a wonderful concert. And may, I forgot to say also in the beginning, it's May 5th International Day of Music. By chance, I didn't even know that we organized it today. Oh. And those who still want to listen to more music, we have 10 minutes break, and then we get a stream from Yaoundé with another concert for 20 minutes. So please stay on. There will be another moderator, Marisa Wolf. After the break, she will uh, hand over to her and to the stream in Yaoundé. Okay, but first of all, again, thank you. It was so fantastic. Thank you.